Hello, hello, everybody. Man, has it been a long time or what? It has been a really long time. You know, we took some time off for Christmas. It's just one of them things, you know, you just want to get a break away and uh, relax and uh, get rebounded, get something new going on with you. So that's exactly what we did. You know, we just took a little time off. We did our thing, you know. Uh, Karshina, my wife, she's actually still at her mom's house, and uh, she's in that, and she's in the chat, so she's going to be saying hey to everybody, uh, keep the chat going and whatnot, but uh, let's just go ahead and uh, say hello to a few people right now, of course, we got uh, my wife, Blackstar, she's uh, in the chat, so hey baby, well, I'll see you, I guess tomorrow it is, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, we got Eric McIntyre. Thanks a lot for stopping by, Eric. We appreciate you. We got Mandible Smash. <laughs> hey, Mandible Smasher, man. Mandible Smasher. Did I just mess that up? I mean, what was I just stumbling over my whatevers? Anyway, so uh, we'll keep checking in with the chat and everything as uh, time goes on and whatnot. But for right now, I just want to say, hey, thanks to everybody. We just passed over the 19K mark. 19K, I mean, how that? I mean, uh, we're just, you know, chugging along nice and slow, uh, keep it, keeping it moving. Uh, you know, we're still on the book. Everything's going good right there. A uh, little over half done. Uh, got a few more months to really dial it in and uh, get everything done so super excited about that uh, we got some uh, artwork being done right now for book two you know we got uh, jason sean alexander and on a cover for us for book two uh, we got kent williams he's saying that uh, he's going to be doing a cover for us so let's cross the fingers and hope that uh, Kent comes through with another amazing cover. We love Kent Williams. I love Kent Williams. I mean, he's one of my favorites. And uh, oh, oh, also, we've never done anything down here. This is the sec, the bottom floor of the studio. Normally, we're up top. You know, we're doing our thing up top. And uh, but today, we're down in the painting portion of the studio, ground level, ground floor, getting it done. Uh, let me go ahead and. Make this nice and big. Okay, so yeah, we're here on the ground floor doing our thing today. Uh, sorry for the lighting with me, you know, trying to come in and get at you. I got all the lighting set up so we can work back here. So we got the big piece of wall back here. Uh, it's four foot by eight foot. I mean, how awesome is that? That's just huge, man. With four foot by eight foot painting. Uh, we're going to be working on that. We uh, I, I did a light sketch. You might be able to see back there. We've got a little bit of a light sketch up there, uh, just to kind of you know rough something in with the pencil. And but we're going to go back in with inks and uh, get started. Show you some of the tools I'm going to be using. We got the pentels, the awesome pentels. I mean, you can't go wrong with those. Uh, it's exactly what uh, what I'll be doing most of the work with is the Pentel brush, but you know you can't do everything with these little things because you know we're working big, we're working huge. So the next step up, I got some ink brushes, some big boys here. Let me put those away. There we go. Got some big ink brushes there, All right? And then the creme de la creme. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! I got a mustache. That's like the best mustache I've ever had in my life. I can't grow facial hair very good, so. That's awesome. So I'm going to be working with this is going to be awesome, awesome, awesome. So uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll just be fun, you know, to get in there. I mean, we're working big, so you got to have a big brush, got to have a big ink brush. But mainly, this is for uh, doing dry brushing and stuff like that. That's 
See, I, I cut it down so it has a flat, hard edge so I can do dry brushing with it. Makes it really cool, get some good effects with it. Also, um, yeah, I got my little, there we go, little country crop there, churn style. This is what I got my ink in, just, just a little bit down in there. That's where I can dab my brushes into. Uh, be doing that. Oh, the ink that I'm using, uh, okay. It's the ink and disappeared years ago. It's just an old bottle that I have sitting around. <laughs> That's right, Eric. Four foot by eight foot. That's what we're working on. That's what we're going to be doing today. That's it. <laughs> 11 by 17 inches is standard for comics. Yes, but this is four foot by eight foot. Four foot by eight foot. How awesome is that? I mean, it's just going to be awesome and huge. So we got the black India ink. You know, it's, I got about that much left in it. It's just a whole bottle. Uh, this is actually from uh, uh, New Jersey, a company in New Jersey. That's all I can tell. You know, because the label came off, but just standard India ink. You can get it anywhere. Uh, I got you know, a splatter page. You got to have a splatter page for dabbing your brushes and stuff like that. So I keep that on the floor. Uh, so we'll have that. And also, of course, I just got a pencil. You know, sometimes I'll get to a point where I'm like, ah, I don't really want to go in with ink. Let's try and map it out with pencil real quick. And then I'll go back over and do ink. So you got to have a pencil. And then I have some other ink in case uh, I run out. You know, this, this is a Chinese company. They make some nice stuff. It's uh, Chinese, but it's a real pretty bottle that it comes in. I mean, how awesome is that? You know? Xevious, how you doing, man? Hey, just so you know, Xevious, when you were on the show, you showed your, your hand, Copy, right? <laughs> you said we wouldn't, but we did. But it, it was all right. It, they just, you know, nothing happened. So anyway, but it, it was cool. I, I I think it's awesome. It's great. If if y'all go out there, I can't remember the name of the band. Put it in here so people can go check it out. Man, it, it was really good stuff. Man, it was awesome stuff. Also, uh, what else do I have today? I got I got my straight jacket. I got my straight jacket over here in case I need for reference, you know, and stuff like that. So we're gonna be doing that. And I'm going to try and play some music that I believe won't get me struck. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> but we will see. Uh, it's just going to be a little light in the background, so it's a little easier. I, I will talk a little bit, but for the most part, I just want to kind of work. And what I'm going to do is I'll work for a little bit, and then I'll check in with you guys. I don't know how long this is going to last. It may last an hour. It may last four hours. I have no idea. You know, that's just one of them things. We're just going to have to see how it goes, you know. But the cool thing is we're doing it in ink. We're doing it big, and you'll be able to see everything. So that's cool. So thanks, everybody, for all the no whammies, no strikes. I know. I know. We ain't going to get no strikes. This is – we'll be okay with this. This person's got their own label. They ain't on a distribution or anything. So they're, they're good. They sell their stuff by themselves. No labels involved. So we should be okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started with this. Uh, also, let me just take a minute, thank everybody out there. Thanks for backing skits. Thank you, thank you. And thanks to my wife and her mom who are at home uh, in Florida watching this. So uh, they're, they're gonna be in there and who knows who else might pop in. Sometimes my parents pop in. It's kind of weird having your parents pop in when you're doing this sort of thing, but there you go. So they might be out there. I can't speak English today. What's going on? <laughs> We're going to be doing, what are we painting today? We got an image of Skits and Hattie Mae. So that's what we're working on. It's Skits and Hattie Mae in a big fight scene. So this actually, this I, I don't know if I should say this, but this fight scene is actually from book two. So I'm giving y'all kind of a preview as to something going on in book two. So how, how awesome is that? Book two, Skits the Sun, book two. Anyway, I'm gonna go hop on this and get started because we just need to get, get into it. That's all there is to it. And I'm gonna keep popping back and forth. Uh, my wife's gonna be in the chat. She's gonna be answering all your questions from time to time. You know, she's, she, she's there now. So go ask questions if you need. But I'm gonna go do a little bit. Then I'll come back and say, hey, you know, and stuff like that. So. 
There you go. Hope y'all enjoy. Oh, let's uh, yeah, of course it doesn't. Yeah, boom. Boom. I'm gonna do this really light. All right, guys. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, also, if you see me bending over, I'm just kind of testing the pen. I don't want to do it on the actual page, so there we go. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good there. We're starting to get into it. Yeah. yeah. See, the one thing about working really big is you just kind of like, uh, you're just hoping everyone can see it, you know? So, you know, but it looks like everything's going to be good there. You're going to be able to see this.
Soda. Don't give up soda, man. <laughs> now go ahead and do it. I haven't drank soda in ugh, God knows how long. I don't I can't even stand the taste of it anymore. See, when I first get started, I just kind of want to start getting the outline in there, you know, so I got a big idea of what I'm thinking, you know, a few hard strokes here and there, but mainly I just want to get the uh, overall look of it, you know, what I'm working with, and then I can go back in and uh, start putting in my darks and some shading, I'll do some splatter techniques, uh, we'll do a few different things, you know, but for right now I just want to kind of get a rough outline, so I can kind of go back and figure out what I'm going to do with it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, you guys. Um, let me take a little break here for a second. Something I forgot to very mention at the very beginning of the stream, man. I'm going to be giving this away, okay? Now, the way I'm giving it away, this is a pretty big, awesome piece, is anyone who purchases a double page spread tier or the straight tier on the the next person who does it, I'll leave it open for about a week because I know that's a lot of money. But in the next week, anyone buys a double page spread or the uh, straight jack, uh, one of those two tiers, will get this piece when I'm done with it, sent to them for free. How awesome is that, huh? Little little bonus to get the juices going, uh, you know. Just, just a little something extra. So anyway, um, I'm going to get back to work on this. But think about it. Anyone out there who wants it, boom. Get one of those tiers, the 750 tier or the 1,000 tier. I'll wrap this thing up in a tube and send it right to you as soon as I'm done. That's uh, Tree Goblin, man. How's it going, man? Get this painting sent to you for free. Yes, that's exactly right. That's what I just said. Sent the painting to you. Uh, Tree Goblin, happy uh, 2021 to you as well. Appreciate it. Um, let's see here, what do we got? We got some other stuff anyone's saying in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Just wanted to. Uh, da. It's not done lately. Oh, Xevious did a two foot by four foot canvas. That's cool, man. That's awesome. I just got done doing a. Uh, Five foot by six foot canvas for a client. That was really cool. Uh, brought it to their house, helped them hang it and everything. It was a, it was a real nice piece. I think I, we shared some stuff up online about it. So, but uh, anyway, that's how you can get the piece. So I'm going to go to it. Turn the music back on. junk on my hand. If I don't take care of it now, it'll end up on the piece everywhere. So, got some baby wipes here for cleaning, cleaning the hands.
Hello, hello, just checking in, saying hey to everybody. Let's do this, Tulu, veggie, quesada, quesadillas, quesadillas. I'm terrible at Spanish, veggie quesadillas. Nice. Man, I need some food. All I had today was chicken, just a big old piece of chicken. Oh, also, if y'all didn't notice, I'm sporting the uh, 80s, the 80s haircut here. That's right, bringing it back to the surfer days. So I'm talking about. <clears throat> Get a pencil here to sketch something in right quick. I'm starting to work on Hattie May here now.
Hello, everybody. All right. Okay. Get this painting sent to you for free with the set sale tier or the straight jacket strap tier on Indiegogo. That's right. You can get this piece. Four foot. Foot. I believe it's eight foot. Somewhere between seven and eight feet. Anyway, it's a monster piece, and you can get it for free. All you got to do is just get one of them tiers, so go check it out, man. All right, y'all. <laughs> Back at it. Just keep on working, keep on trucking.
y'all got going on in the chat there, man. You all got all sorts of stuff going on. Mm. I'd like to thank y'all for sticking around and watching that. I know it can be kind of boring to watch people draw and stuff, but, you know, it's what I like to do, so there you go. Mm-hmm.
I think my pen's running out. Well, we got a little bit left in there. Take a little, little break. I'm going to stand back away from it here so I can take a look at it. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that's coming along pretty good. Y'all uh, share this out if there's anyone out there that likes, uh, uh, you know, watching live drawing and stuff like that. Go on out there and uh, check it out. See how everything's going. Just, uh, yeah, sometimes I just need a little, I'm going to sit down and take a little break just for a second. Mm, excuse me. And uh, just... You know, whenever you work big like this, you got to move around. You're doing a lot more work than you normally would do um, for for stuff like this. You know, like if you're actually working on something, um, something small, you're just barely moving your hand, you know. But with this, I'm like, actually like, got the arm moving everywhere, got all sorts of stuff going on, you know. That's cool, you know. It's just a lot of fun. So let me grab my pen and uh, which one of these is uh, this one's it. And remember, <clears throat> thanks, baby. Remember that uh, you can get this piece right here. All you gotta do is back the uh, double page spread or the um, the uh, straight jacket tier, one of those two cheer tiers, <clears throat> you know, someone within the next week, if you back it and you say, hey, I backed it, you know, boom, I wrap this bad boy up, I roll it up in a giant tube and send it to you. Only, uh, what I should have said, though, only in the U.S. I can't send it overseas because overseas it'll cost like hundreds and hundreds of dollars to send it overseas because of how big it is. So it's got to be someone only in the U.S., you know, or if you're willing to pay the shipping, then I can do that. But otherwise, I mean, it's like shipping to some of these countries is just insane. You know, it's like you got to be here in the U.S., you know, in the United States. Hey, Rick Saylor, what's going on, man? We're just sitting here drawing the big piece. We're working on it right now, uh, working on the inks right now, just getting everything in. And uh, I was telling people that, you can own this piece. Anyone can get this piece. All you got to do is just back the double page spread or the um, straight jacket tier on the campaign and say, hey, I just backed it. Bam, you can have it to you for free. How you like that? Four foot by eight foot piece sent to you for free. Awesome. U.S. residents only. You know what I'm saying? Because it is expensive to send overseas hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to send like a giant tube you know it's like five foot tube overseas i mean it, it was, anyway if you back one of those bam i'm wrapping this bad boy up and i'm sending it to you for free so keep watching keep watching everybody 
Hello, Mr. Sigenthaler. Thank you, Rick Saylor. I appreciate you for stopping by. Have any product reviews in this room? Product reviews, yeah. Any product reviews?
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyone else stopping by? My pleasure. You guys are amazing. Skits is a book I'm waiting on the most. Thanks, Rick Sazer. We really appreciate that, man. Really appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Hey, Burst Films. Thanks for stopping by. Detail on the eye here. Let me get Skit's eye in there.
scale. Which is, uh, Hey, what? I wish I could draw like this every day. Just big, massive like this. I mean, this is the size that I'd rather be working uh, instead of little, you know, when you do comic book size, it's like, yeah, let me. <clears throat> so, comic book size is like about this big, you know, 11 by 17 inches. And to be perfectly honest, I feel most, <laughs> let me move on a little bit. I feel most comfortable working this size. Uh, it's the size that I, I worked in a lot when I was uh, in college. This was pretty much the size that I like to do things in. I, I got, I did a bunch of pieces, you know, this size when I was in college, and uh, I don't know, man. It's just like that's that was that was my jam, you know, back in college, doing things this size. So I don't know. Maybe it'd be cool to do a this big would be awesome. Hey, Xevious, uh, Black Star is asking you to drop your link so uh, she can give a shout out to you. you know? Go ahead and do it. Are we talking about barbecue in here? What we got here? Yeah, book two. Like, book one is kind of like the awesome groundwork. And then book two, skits of some book two is like full scale, just like, you know, just way over the top. It, it really, once all the characters, you know, you always got to spend some time developing and showing the characters a little bit. And that's really what the first book is, is just laying that groundwork. But it's still fun and exciting and you're seeing some amazing worlds and just, just cool, cool stuff. But book two is just like, over the top, just like everyone's starting to know one another, and it just anyway. Book one, book one, and book all, just like Black Star says there in the in the chat. And why are we talking about barbecue, man? You're making me hungry. It's like two two o'clock. All I had was a little piece of chicken this morning. Now you're making me hungry. Uh, anyway, let me get back to work here. <laughs> Pencil And when you see me using the pencil, all I'm trying to do is get some, you know, if I'm working on something really, really detailed and I want it to look a certain way, I try and hammer it in with the pencil before I go on with the inks. The rest of it's just light sketch, you know, rough. I just do all the detail and put it all in with the ink you know, Ink brush, excuse me, not yeah.
Sounds like a music guy on me. Let's go on to the next one. Since that one didn't do anything, that was good. I thought that that wouldn't do much. Uh, let me, I got another one here. Let me go over to this one. Another person who doesn't have a label, they just do their own thing.
this detail on this boot here. No, they ran. Okay. I lost the feed for a second. <laughs> All right. And this is looking good, y'all. This is looking good. What do y'all think? I think it's going pretty good.
Step back here. Hmm. Yeah, this is this box.
to. Take a quick little break here, just to kind of step away for a minute. Music. Talk about the music. This is Alec Empire. He's pretty much the mastermind behind uh, Atari Teenage Riot. And I, I, when Atari Teenage Riot came out, I was like, man, this is uh, this is exactly what I like. It's just like, uh, 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 it was like, it was like men, man music. You know, it's just like break stuff and anger and hate and just get everything out there in the open and do it, you know? Um, so his, he does a bunch of different stuff that he just puts out on his website uh, under Alec Empire. He's got uh, some really, really good like uh, punk album. He did a punk album that was just awesome. It was like one of the best punk albums I had heard in decades. It was fantastic. Just makes you just want to uh, really, you know, get at it. And then he did, he does like some, uh, soundscapes. Uh, he does this type of stuff. I mean, he just does all sorts of stuff. He's uh, what kind of pushed him to doing punk and in his Alec Empire type stuff that was a little different than Atari Teenage Riot was um, people were saying, oh, all you know how to do is just sample guitar stuff and uh, you know, it's just samples and loops. And he's like, no, he's like, I didn't sample any of that. That's all my own guitar playing, you know, because he was actually a child prodigy and he played in bands and stuff when he was like seven and eight years old. He, he was just really, really, really good. So he was like, well, I'm going to put out a punk album. That's just like, it's like drum, you know, real drum, uh, guitar, uh, bass and a little bit of synthesizer stuff and he just like boom he killed it you know and then he was like okay i'm gonna do this album like intelligence and sacrifice if you go out there and check out this uh, alec empire album called intelligence and sacrifice the first album just like picks you up like mauls you and slams you on the floor and then the second album uh, it's a two disc uh piece uh album and the second album is just kind of soundscapes and real quiet and you know take you back and a little little stuff like this too so anyway that's what i'm listening to right now is alec empire alec empire is awesome i really enjoy his stuff and uh before that i was listening to meat beat manifesto uh, i don't know if anyone out there really knows who they are but i mean they're still he's still making music and last time I heard um, his beats are more sampled than anyone else's beats in, uh, in hip hop and rap and stuff like that. Now, everyone copies Prince and they sample Prince a lot, you know, like his styles and stuff like that. I mean, Prince has like laid the groundwork for like uh, the stuff throughout the 90s. I mean, people are just copying him and doing his thing. But me beat manifesto his stuff was just sampled and the reason why people sample his stuff all the time is because he won't come after you he's like i believe in recycling so he's like yeah just take my music and recycle it no big deal um so me beat manifesto is just amazing and he does some awesome awesome stuff uh best album he put out was subliminal sandwich in my opinion subliminal sandwich was just an amazing album uh, for Alec Empire, his I, I like Intelligence and Sacrifice, the two disc uh, album, and uh, his punk album he put out. What what the heck was the name of that one? Uh, I can't remember the name of that one, but it was just it was, it was put out right about the same time as Intelligence and Sacrifice, and it is just amazing. You know, it's just like. It's man music, you know, just like, ah, just grind it to the core, you know, and I, that's what I really, really like. I like music that just picks you up and just like, ugh, you know, hits you hard. Uh, Rick Saylor, damn, this piece is looking awesome so far. Thanks, Rick Saylor. I appreciate it. You guys should go on Joe M. Sontag and Sean's channel. I don't know who that is. Can you send a link? I've, I've never heard of that, Rick. Uh, 
Anyway, just uh, check it out. You know, uh, I, I we'll definitely check it out. I mean, here's the thing. People tell us to go on people's channels all the time, and uh, all we can do is ask. You know, either they have us on or they don't. <laughs> it's just the way it is, you know. So really, really appreciate that, you know. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, people tell us to go on people's channels all the time, and it's like, whoa. I mean, we, you know, it's up to them whether or not they'll uh, have us on. But anyway, uh, this is looking pretty good. I think I got, uh, I basically got the whole outline done. Now I got to start going in and adding uh, detail and shading and stuff like that, which means I'm probably going to get the big boy out here in a minute. Get the big boy out. <laughs> this thing is a heck of a lot of fun, and you can lay down some sick looking stuff with it. And also, I think I need to get me a little bit of splatter going on. Um, and I'm probably going to, once I am done with shading and splattering and all that, I'll probably go back in with it with white paint and then go back over it with inks. That's probably something I'll do later on. I mean, I, it has to dry and then I have to do all sorts of stuff. So it's probably not, you know, something you can really uh, sit here with. So. I'll get it to a certain point where it looks pretty much done and then I'll go back and have fun with it and do even more to it. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Oh, Exevious. Ah, I could talk music with skits all day sometimes, plan on doing it. So, oh yeah, man, we can do it again for sure. I mean, I'm, I really, really love music, but the funny thing is, is usually when I start talking about music, there's very few people who know of any of it that I talk about. So I, I most of it is just sort of very niche genre type stuff. Uh, and then, you know, just the other day, uh, my wife sent me a link. It was like, oh, this uh, rapper died. What was it MF uh, Doom? I think it was. I'd never even heard of him. I guess it's someone newer. Uh, never heard of the rapper, you know, so, and I, I'm into rap, you know, I, I like all sorts of stuff, but I don't really get into stuff that's on, the radio, you know, uh, I don't listen to the radio. I haven't listened to the radio. I haven't watched TV, regular TV in decades. I mean, decades. So I know um, a few years back when I was able to get to the gym, uh, now I have to work out at home. I can't go to the gym anymore. I have to work out at home. But when I was going to the gym, uh, they were listening to something. It was I think it was mumble rap is what one of them told me it was. And I got to tell you, I was just like, well, I mean, it's just like the same thing over and over, or you don't even know what they're saying. It's just like, moon, 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 moon. And I, I was, I, I love the beats in it, but I was like, dude, think of something interesting, man. Okay, so it was from the late 90s and 2000s. That's funny. I don't know it because I listen to stuff all the time. And I didn't know that one, Black Star. I just, MF Doom. Maybe I've heard the music, but I've never heard the name. You know? New Kids on the Block. And Pantera, are you serious, Mandible Smasher? Oh, Hanging Tough? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, I never got into any of the boy bands, even back when I was a kid and they were coming out. You know, the only boy band bands I ever got into was probably the Beatles, you know, because they started out as pretty much a boy band, but they played all their own instruments, you know. Uh, the Monkees, that's the first boy band, the Monkees, because they didn't play their own instruments when they first started out. But by the second or third album, they started playing their own instruments and getting legit kind of, and that's when the music went bad because Neil Diamond stopped uh, writing all their songs for him. So <laughs> it's like, hey, we need to learn how to, you know, play our own music and our own instruments and stuff. And then Neil Diamond's like, all right, you don't need me. Because <laughs> Neil Diamond, he was writing all their big hits. So there you go. Jordan Knight from New Kids was dreaming. Yeah. Also, wasn't uh, Marky Mark, he could have been with uh, New Kids on the Block because he was like a brother of one of them, and he was just like, nah, don't think so. I think it worked out pretty good for Marky Mark, yeah. It was probably a good thing he didn't go in with New Kids on the Block. 
<laughs> I push Skit's link on every channel I'm on. To me, it's one of the best books. It's, hey, man, thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. New edition. I'm on 80s Kids. There, there you go. Yeah, new edition. They were all right. I, I listened to that a little bit, you know. But they, you know, they sounded good. They were a little different, you know. They, they did their thing. I, I, I mean, there are some talented people, you know. There's some talent in New Edition, a little. You know, it wasn't too bad. TV and the radio so All right, what we got? Best boy band ever was actually the Sex Pistols, seriously. <laughs> the Sex Pistols. They were boy, I guess they were boy band, but they knew how to play. I mean, Sid Vicious, I mean, he, play, he played uh, bass for him, but he played drums for uh, Susie and the Banshees before that. I mean, it's not like they didn't know how to play instruments and stuff, you know? And uh, after Sex Pistols, uh, Johnny Rotten went on to do... Uh, um, what is it? Uh, oh, what the heck? It was right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, Public Image Limited, you know? I mean, and that was, it was a new wave 80s band that was pretty good. I mean, so there were, you know, boy bands are ones that kind of come with a hit or two and then they disappear because they got no talent except they can sing and dance, right? That's a boy band. So I, I don't know about Sex Pistols, boy band, really? I mean, they only had really one album, two albums, really. You know, they, they didn't stay together too good. They kind of disintegrated, but hey, whatever. I like the Sex Pistols. They had some good songs. They had some bad ones too, but they had some good songs. Like the first six songs on, on their uh, Nevermind the Bullocks album, I mean, classic, man, just killing it. Yes, baby. We all love Depeche Mode. They're awesome. They're not a boy band. They're amazingly talented musicians. Definitely not a boy band. <laughs> Still killing it today. That's right. I mean, it's selling out the, the stadium. Well, no one's selling out Jack right now because there ain't no music going on, you know. But, man, what are you going to do? That's just the way it is. Anyway, I'm on. Let me uh, get back into this a little bit. I'm going to start working on some shading and whatnot and then uh, go from there. Also, there's going to be a few more things that I – and maybe this will be a surprise. I'll put it in a little bit later, but there's still a little bit more going to be in here. I'm just going to focus on the main two characters. But later on, I'll uh, add some stuff in the background and stuff like that. That'll be really cool. So Rick knows what's up with MS Doom. All right. All right. Is that going to be like one of those, uh, like two chains or something like that? I was, you know, it was my last office job this some of the younger kids in there, they came in, they're like, oh, I love 2 Chain. He's, he's he does the dirty rap lyrics and stuff like that. This one girl was all about it. She's like, oh, I love 2 Chain." I listened to a couple songs. I was like, man, this stuff is a joke. Man, it was nothing. And I was like, listen, if you want to hear some dirty stuff, like, go get you some 2 Live Crew. All right? Go listen to that. And then uh, the next day she came in, she was like, oh, I listened to that Two Live Crew last night. That was, oh, oh my God, I, 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 I was so offended. I don't even, I was like, yeah, and that was like 20 years earlier. And, you you know, it was like 2 Chain. I was like, come on, man. It's like, like Two Live Crew, they actually got banned and couldn't sell their records and stuff. That's how bad they were, 2 Chain. <laughs> Too broke. Anyway, yeah, so... Cool. Yeah. So everyone, you can get this piece. You can get this piece when it's done. What I'm going to do is uh, next person to buy either the straight jacket tier, the thousand dollar straight jacket tier or the double page spread tier. One of those two things, you know, either one of those next person who buys one of those, like say in the next week or so, I'll give you a week or so. Whoever buys one of those is going to get this for free. Here in the U.S., but it's got to be in the U.S. I might ship it to the U.K. They, who who knows? But just get with me if you want to get. You know, we'll figure something else. But I can't ship it across the across the world because there is just some crazy, crazy shipping rates. Okay, so I can't do that for free. But this right here, if you buy it, you're in the United States. Bam, you can get this piece right here. How awesome would that be? Hang that bad boy up. Be able to have some fun with it. Oh my gosh, it's getting bad now. You're talking about Backstreet Boys. Oh my gosh. Hmm. All right, let me get back to work. I don't want to talk about Backstreet Boys. 
Backstreet Boys. Let me back up and take a look at this line. I'll be back. Yeah, man. Let me see what we got. Now we know Michael's kryptonite, Backstreet Boys. It's not a kryptonite. It's just, well, I'll see you later when we start talking about them. <laughs> kryptonite.
what it was getting cold in here. cold in here. I got the heater on but it froze up the other day and I think it might be freezing up again. Right, let me get something bigger out here. Yeah. Let me get this brush here. Don't need to go real big yet, but getting a little bit bigger of a brush there. See that? There we go.
It's time to get dirty. I think it might be time to get dirty. Right now I'm just, um, I got the brush and then I'm just kind of flicking the end so I can get some splatter and stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now, just right here. Clean my pencil off. It's all nasty and black now. And the ink. That's alright. Wash, wipe my hands off so I don't get any of this on the actual piece. Now I gotta kind of stay away from most places where I put that splatter on for a minute. So we'll just sit down here for a second. Yeah, we're just you know getting some darks in there, some blacks here and there. It's starting to get a little more uh, interesting, you know. It's all popping out for a bit. All right, Black Star. So who's all in here, man? Everyone, ditch. <laughs> Got a few people watching. You know, if you want to say something to me, go ahead and say something to me. I'll listen to you, but I just got to sit back for a second and let what I did just dry because if I try and go back over it, it'll just kind of smear all those little nice details I put in and I don't want to do that. And uh, again, I'm going to go back over this with some white in certain areas, you know, work back into it. That's uh, one of the ways that you can work ink and not have to worry about things is just hop on in there. And don't be afraid of anything because you can always go back over it with white and redo anything, you know, and make it part of your piece, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. And that's what I do. I just, I just go back in with it with uh, white and use the whites as just another part of the, the painting. And I just keep going back and forth, you know, a little white, a little black, a little this, a little that. I just use white as like eraser, I guess, or correction. But I, you got to use it so that it looks cool, though. You know, you don't want to just kind of, oh, I need to take out this one little line. It's like, oh, I need to slap it around. Don't be afraid. And that's the way you should put your ink down, too. Just don't be afraid of it. Just put it down, you know. Um, anyway, that's just the way I like to work. So. There we go. Uh, so what's everyone doing on Sunday? I know it's kind of weird that I'm doing this on Sunday. Usually we don't work on Sundays. That's just kind of our thing. But I was like, eh, you know, I, I thought about doing it yesterday, but I didn't have everything set up. It was kind of a pain in the butt to get this paper up here. Uh, I had to uh, get my dad to come over and help me put it up. Uh, <clears throat> so, but I'm excited about it. I think this is gonna be really cool. It's going to be a lot of fun once it's done. And it's kind of got um, uh, almost like an Asian thing. If you look at some of those uh, fighting, like the samurai pieces where it's like all interconnected and it 
pieces wrapped and stuff like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking on this right here is like it's kind of you got that yin and yang, yin and yang type thing going on here. So. And uh, we're going to have some other stuff in there that's uh, kind of cool and part of it, you know. But, <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is definitely going to be awesome. It's a cool piece, you know. Well, let me get back to it. <clears throat>
candidates. Made them a smasher. Been in the garage working out and cleaning up the house now. Exciting stuff. I know, man. I need to get across the street and do some uh, working out myself, man. Getting got lazy over the holidays. You know what I mean? Lazy. That's just how it goes, I guess. Sometimes it just goes that way.
<laughs> yeah, we're pretty much to the point where it's just you start noodling and noodling and noodling, man. And it's just figure out what you, how you want it to look, you know? You just keep going and going until you decide to stop, you know? y'all need to think about if you're actually going to look into this sort of stuff is uh, you know the way you hold your utensil you know, I just hold it like this and, you know 
if I'm doing, you know, pencil work real fine, I'll do like this. But if I'm working big or painting or anything like that, I mean, it's just like this, you know, it's just you know, go right into it, you know. Don't use your wrist. Use your whole arm. Yeah. Something to Tossing them bombs. It does happen. I am in the inks. No way. There you
sort of getting my hand on there in a couple spots. What we got here? Lick kick one. Hey, how's it going, man? Uh, just stopping by. I've been at this for two and a half hours, just doing this giant four foot by eight foot piece. Uh, we got a uh, few more things to get going on it, uh, but it's come along pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, like I said, we still got a little bit more to do on it here and there. Uh, I got to check on a few things here and there, but it's looking pretty good, I think. I think it's pretty good. Like, uh, we got something going on that's a lot of fun. Um, looks like Black Stars check back in. Uh, I'm going to put up a little, little banner here right quick. Uh, I don't know if I have a, let me create a new one. Um, right. Back. <laughs> All right, let me do that one. Be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom right quick. I'll be right back. It is getting cold outside, people. I mean, really freaking cold. It was nice yesterday. It almost got up to 70 degrees yesterday, I think. Oof. But right now, no, not quite. It's probably going to freeze tonight. Let's see if I can find a little. There we go. Can I play this? Yeah. All right, a little more music. Ooh. All right. Thank you to our backers. Oh, yeah. I'm going to probably get up on here and uh, do a little sketching. Ten eighty P still sounding great. Sweet. That's awesome. Still sounding great. All right, let me take a little stretch. Ooh. Got my uh, velvet acid Christ uh, hoodie on today. Uh, one thing I don't like about newer hoodies is for some reason like the bottoms are really big and the uh, necks are super tight. So this is a large and it comes down pretty far on me, you know, it fits me okay. But the neck was just like 
cinched in. I'm just like, hey, how's it going? You know? and so I ripped it. I just ripped it open. You know, like, like just whoosh, whoosh. so now it fits nice and good. You know. So I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with these hoodies nowadays. So it's like big on the bottom, tiny little thin necks, and. You know, I work out a, a little bit, and I don't have a tiny little thin neck like I guess most people do. So, I don't know. It's just one of them things. I'm going to start drawing some fun stuff now because uh, this takes place in uh, Skits the Sun book two. And I need to draw some other stuff in here that takes place in Skits the Sun book two.
the mail and over here tripping over stuff. All right, guys. Well, hey, Ryan Wynn. How did you shrink Michael? <laughs> shrunk him very carefully. No, I'm working on a four foot by eight foot piece right now. How awesome is that, huh? Well, just so you know, people, oh, yeah, let me talk to people here. So, if you buy one of the top two tiers on the campaign, either the uh, double page spread or the straight jacket tier, this bad boy goes to you. It's four foot by eight foot, and I'll ship it anywhere in the United States for free to you. So how about that? And you don't have to wait for it for the campaign to end and all that either. So I'll just wrap it up once I'm done with it and then send it right to you. So bam, what do you think about that? It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, cool stuff here. Just working on this giant piece, getting my uh, Kim Jong-gi uh, vibe on, as it were. <laughs> so, anyway, getting back to it. Right now I'm just oodling and doodling it, just trying to, you know, get some of the finishing touches in. Um, let's see something on this one right here. Look at that. Yep. All right. All right. I knew there was something weird going on right there. Just couldn't tell what it was. Anyway, we got that. I'll have to go back in with some whites and uh, put some details and some highlights in with whites, so that'll be a lot of fun. Right now. <laughs> And I don't have music playing. I guess I need to put some more music on. We'll go back to some Meat Beat Manifesto. Because I know he ain't gonna 
He ain't gonna come after us. Old Meat Beat Manifesto. We were listening to Alec Empire there. Maybe I can get away with this. Yeah, here we go. I think we'll be okay with this. Ain't on Justin Dutton to be looking at this now. Because I'm doing something he really likes. It's been about out. About out of ink here. Stuff even in frame. Can y'all see that over there? Oh yeah, y'all can see it. Yeah, it's going good. Right hey, Christopher Jackson. Thanks for stopping by, man. We appreciate you. Just working on this four foot by eight foot painting that you can get for free. Be right over there a little bit later. Tell you about it.
This guess would make one hell of a fighter. 2D versus grappler. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about, Christopher Jackson? This guess would make one hell of a fighter. 2D versus grappler. All right. Hello, man. <laughs>
<clears throat> we shall see fighter fighter skates. Back up and take a look at this. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. It's cool stuff, man. Some uh, Tenarco and Street Fighter 3. Uh, I don't know Street Fighter 3, Christopher Jackson. At least I don't think so. I know Street Fighter 2, I think. Street Fighter 2 is the only one I knew. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Me and uh, my wife were playing Street Fighter 2 the other day, and then I think I started playing uh, some racing game, F FZ, F2, or something like that. F5, I don't know what the heck it was called. But anyway. It made me sick as a dog. I get motion sickness really easily, and yeah, the racing game made me sick. And I had to go to bed early that night, like seven o'clock or six o'clock or something. F zero, there it is. F zero. Oh, it made me sick as a dog, man. Yeah, it was bad, bad stuff. <laughs> Teddy bears flying. <laughs> Skits get silly, man. Skits get silly. That's why. Anyway, uh, I need to put some over here now. I have to do that. I think I got later time though. Um, I might be close to wrapping this up for the for the day. <laughs> Because I want to let it dry and I want to do some other stuff to it, some whites and whatnot, but also need to put some other stuff in. But anyway, let me, uh, let me say hey to y'all. So this piece right here, um, let me see if I can. Well, anyway, uh, this piece is actually, I'm giving it away to a backer if they back either the double page spread or the straight jacket tier. 
So if someone gets either one of those coming up in the next week or so and says, hey, I got it, and they're in the U.S., I will give them this piece that I'm working on behind me. Four foot by eight foot piece. I will roll it up, put it in a giant tube, and send it to you free if you back one of those uh, one of those tiers. So anyone interested in the giant piece behind me? It's not done yet. Still got a little bit more to do. I got there's a little something I got to draw over here, and then I need to do some white, do some white stuff on here, going back into it. But for the most part, man, this, this thing is looking sweet, you know, definitely looking cool. But that's actually, uh, if you want this piece, that's how you can get it. Just back one of those tiers and I will wrap it up and send it to you. How you like that? Got some other people checking in. Sounds like uh, you like that, Christopher Jackson. Whoa, what? Uh, heck yeah, man. Let me get that thing. Let me get that thing. I need to wash out some brushes over here. You missed it, Christopher. Earlier I was... Here, I'll show you. Earlier I was inking with this. Boom, boom. How awesome is that? Big, giant brush. All over the place on it. You know? But that's awesome. I guess I should cover up this thing. I ain't really using it anymore. Just so you know, like, you can use stuff like this for keeping things from evaporating. I got my ink in here. <laughs> there it is. And uh, if you want to know what we've been listening to, this last bit of music here, this is uh, Download. It's one of the... Uh, uh, the band Skinny Puppy, which is my favorite band. Uh, the guy Kevin Key, he's done a number of other projects, and uh, this is one of them. It's called Download, and this is uh, Charlie's family. It has to do with Charles Manson. So, Bob Ross style. <laughs> Cash me outside. How about that? Hey, Dan Danger Vanessa. Thanks for stopping by. I've just been sitting here for th over three hours now working on this piece behind me. This is a uh, four foot by eight foot piece. <laughs> and, uh, just been drawing it live. Something I've always wanted to do is, I, I like working big, so that's what you know, I decided to do. Let me move over a little bit here. There we go, so, see it a little bit more. But I like to work big, and so I was like, I'm doing a four foot by eight foot piece. How do you like that? But right now, I'm about to take a break, because I gotta get some to eat. Uh, I need something to drink, which I actually have a drink here. forgot about that. But I wanna take a break, and uh, maybe I'll work on some more tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow? I don't know. Anyway, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe tomorrow, Tuesday, or something like that. I can't tomorrow because my wife is coming back tomorrow and I got to go pick her up. So I can't tomorrow. Maybe Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. Anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. And um, I'd like to thank all of y'all for showing up, the ones that did. I really appreciate all of y'all's support. We uh, appreciate all of our backers. And I am going to, I'm gonna play us out with a little something. Let me get rid of all download there. Uh, let me check this over here. Oh, it's getting out of control now. All right, so. Here's the campaign, Skits the Sun, book one. We just crossed over 19K. How awesome is that, right? 19K. And um, uh, we're super grateful, you know? It, it's awesome. Uh, if you haven't backed it yet, go on over there and check it out. Get you a three-book journey. We're the only campaign, the only one out there that's doing three books, okay? We got 
uh, three variant covers, three variant stories, three variant stories all wrapped together, signed and numbered in a uh, skits band uh, specifically for you that's signed and numbered for you. So go on over there and check that out. Or if you can't afford all three, that's fine. Just get one. Each book reads as an individual story. It's got its own stuff in there. You know, there's a little bit of extra story in each and all the different in the three. Someone's trying to call me. Sorry. There's a little bit of different story in each one. You get little bits of different journeys. It's kind of like, kind of like a choose your own adventure type thing. Go over there and check it out. Get you a, uh, a book or get you the three book journey. The three book journey. Three book journey is really what you want. That's where you can get all of it. I mean, it's like all the different little bits of stories that are in the different books. It's just awesome, awesome stuff. So uh, go on over there, check it out. And uh, I appreciate y'all for hanging with me today. You've earned a break. Eat a Snickers. Get some nuts. I love those Mr. T commercials they did with, with the Snickers, man. It was like he's like shooting the Snickers bar off of a off of a tank and stuff. And he's like hitting that that power walker <laughs> with the Snickers. He's like, get some nuts. I love those, man. Those are awesome commercials. But yeah, I love Snickers. Snickers and Reese's peanut butter cups. I love uh, uh peanut butter and chocolate. That's that's my thing right there. Thanks, Rick. Great stream. I appreciate you. Earned a break. Right. Welcome. Always wonderful. Fantastic. Thanks, man. I appreciate y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Anyway, I'm going to play the video. I'm going to play us out here. And then uh, y'all have a very, very good Sunday. And uh, I'll see you soon. We'll be having some more stuff going on later, later today. So, boom. I, or not later today. Later this week. So. Check back with us. We'll be doing some more live streaming.